Hi, and welcome to Grammar News. Today we're going to be facing a tough decision. It's going to be gerund against infinitive. So let's see what comes out of this uh, grammar session and let's take a look at the following two sentences. First of all we've got Peter suggested looking for pictures online. Suggested clearly takes the gerund. The sentence it's easy to find pictures on the internet clearly is a sentence in the infinitive because it's plus easy requires the infinitive. However, we will face a certain problem once we translate the sentence. However, we will face a certain problem once we translate the sentences. If we translate Peter suggested looking for pictures online, we'll arrive at Peter schlug vor, Fotos online zu suchen. And maybe you already have a clue about the next one. It's easy to find pictures on the internet. Turns out into Es ist leicht, Bilder im Internet zu finden. So, gerund and infinitive both are translated with a zu infinitive. For us, the big question is, do we have to use the gerund or the infinitive? So, our main problem here, the German zu infinitive can be translated with either gerund or the infinitive. But luckily enough, there is a solution to our problem. You may not like it, but it's the only solution there is. Study the following list of words and learn it by heart to know whether you need a gerund or an infinitive. I hope you're not falling off your chair because the list is rather comprehensive. So here on the left side you find a list of words that require the gerund. On the right side you find a list of words that require the infinitive. Let's take a look at a few examples. For example, after certain adjectives such as interested in, you need the gerund. I'm interested in going to the cinema. There's another set of adjectives that require the infinitive. Easy, you're easy to love. After certain verbs, you need the gerund. I enjoy going fishing, for example, or I enjoy fishing. After certain verbs, you need the to infinitive. So, I decided to leave early, and so on. So, just remember, on the left side, you need to use the gerund. On the right side here, you need the infinitive. However, there is a slight um, problem that you should be aware of. Let's take a look at the words down here. Begin, start, continue, hate, love, like, prefer. These words appear both on the gerund side and on the infinitive side. So, here, actually it doesn't matter whether we use the gerund or the infinitive. That's really easy for us. I began to study. I began studying. Both works. However, it becomes more difficult if we take a look at the words down here. So, let me draw you a little attention sign indicating that this is a possible problem. Um, because 
If we take a look at the words stop, go on, forget, remember, mean, and try, the meaning changes if you use the gerund or the infinitive. So, I stopped going to school means I do no longer attend school. I stopped to go to school, however, means I stopped one activity in order to st start a new one, which is going to school. Similarly, all the other words here have got a, a, different, um, a different translation depending on gerund or the infinitive. So, be aware of that. Don't forget to study this list and you will be absolutely fine with using the gerund or with using the to infinitive. That shouldn't be a problem for you, should it?